Hello, welcome once again to the Bucker Broadcast World Tour Wednesdays, where I take a look at some tasty treats from around the world. And this time it is Australia, where you can purchase Dairy Milk Cadbury Moro or, or, or Moro. Now, this is a strange one because it's purportedly something like what we in the UK would call a Mars bar, but that's what in America they call the Milky Way and what we call a Milky Way they call a Three Musketeers. In Ireland Moro is what we call a Boost Bar but I think in Australia they call that a Moro Gold. It, there's, 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 there's a lot to go around here. So uh, what is the Cadbury Dairy Milk Moro. It's choc malt flavoured cream and smooth flowing caramel. I picked this up from a discount retailer in the UK, B&M. They just sell whatever they can get their hands on basically. And this was roughly £2.50, which is a lot, but Australian imported stuff is quite hard to find. I've had this in a cupboard at home for a little while so you can see the date says 29th of July 2020 proudly made in Tasmania so taste it's quite warm today so I'm, I'm worried about it being too soft to handle so here it is it comes in these square blocks Okay, not as good as British Cadbury, but I'm wondering if the sell-by date has something to do with it. It uh, probably could benefit from some time in the fridge, but I do fear that it'll bloom if I put it in the fridge. So I'm taking the illustration on the front as my guide to the flavours and textures I'm expecting. The texture is very soft, but then again, the um, choc malt cream is like a whipped product, so and the caramel is supposed to be soft as well. Now I've read it, now I've thought about it, I'm, I'm getting malt for sure. Mm. I like chocolate flavours, I like soft caramel flavours. It doesn't taste anything like a Mars bar or an American Milky Way. And also it bears no resemblance to a Boost bar. I'm not sure what it's got going on that really makes it stand out. I think if I get the chance, I'm going to have to try a typical, regular, normal Moro rather than the dairy milk packed with Moro. I think if the chocolate malt flavour was stronger, then there'd be a more compelling case for spending the, the high price that they're asking of a chocolate bar imported from the other side of the planet from Australia. It's hard to justify in my mind. For all you British people out there, if you see this available in a supermarket, I'm, I'm not sure why it's worth spending like £2.50 on this. Even the, And it was short dated as well, so it was re a reduced price. So £2.50 for this was cheap, and that's why I, I decided to give it a go. It's chocolate. It's slightly malty. We don't get that much really in the UK. Uh, malty chocolate, chocolatey, it's malty, it's soft, it's got caramel in it. It's not really a particularly new experience. It's got the things I like, but still, I'm giving it a four because, because the value isn't very high. You're not getting anything particularly different out of this. I'm looking forward to trying some of the actually more exciting Australian Cadbury products. Maybe one day I'll make it to Australia and I'll be able to try everything that the confectionery companies have to offer out there. Maybe until then, uh, we'll have to see. So, thank you for tuning in to this week's World Tour Wednesdays. And we'll be back next time. So until then, sayonara.
Hi. I'm in Gamers and I'm not allowed to take any photos at all. I'm buying Shonen Ace.